Nailed It is a Netflix show that's best watched while eating a piece of cake with a tall glass of milk. The big question is, does a cake have to look good to taste good? Let's dig in to find out with the top 15 worst cakes ever on Netflix's Nailed It. I can't. I cannot walk anymore. T-Rex cake. Can't see us if we don't move. Does the sight of a T-Rex scare the living daylights out of you? It should if it's the T-Rex cake Ismith Khan whipped up. Clever girl. It's strange to think that something can look both scary and delicious at the same time. Cake is one of those things that's almost impossible to ruin, though this T-Rex cake is scary for reasons other than it being a terrifying reptile. The terrifying thing about it is that it really doesn't look like a reptile at all. No one would know what it was if they weren't told. Life, uh, finds a way. Regardless of how terrifyingly odd it looks, it'd still go down nicely with a cold glass of milk. You don't need to be addicted to sugar to know that this would be some good eating. Volcano Cake We're in a volcano. We're surrounded by liquid hot magma. Volcanoes are another frightening thing. A volcano might be one of the few things that's scarier than a T-Rex. The volcano cake was equally horrifying, if for other reasons. It's hard to tell what it actually is. You can see there's a dinosaur, and then there's whatever that is in the background. You need a PhD in oddities to know what's going on here. Would you eat it if given the opportunity? See a volcano, drink a volcano. Be a volcano. You better believe you would. How can that much frosting be anything but good? Your dentist might not like it, but there's little doubt that your taste buds would be rejoicing with every sweet bite. Pirate Donuts. You cheated. Pirate. It's hard to believe that donuts aren't a food group all of their own. These pirate donuts are almost impossible to describe. No one would know they were a donut without being told. The baker wanted to make psychedelic pirates, and that's what they did. Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Who knew that psychedelic pirates were a thing? What's next? Psychedelic pizza? You have to give them an A for effort, since it's not every day the food world is stumped. Did the people who ate these donuts see anything melt or colors becoming more vivid? If so, there was some truth in advertising when it came to these donuts. You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. Vodka Soaked Cake Pop Vodka soaked anything is a winning combination. It might not be a winner for your liver, but it sure helps a person forget about their troubles. Eating your drinks? That is genius! Who knows how many of these cake pops you'd need to eat before putting a lampshade on your head. By the looks of the pops themselves, it appears that the baker might have been sampling the vodka before entering the kitchen. Let's all hope that's the case, and this isn't the result of a sober mind at work. If it is, then it sure would be interesting to see how the baker would have reacted after taking a few swigs from the vodka bottle. Sylvia, how come nobody has bribed us with vodka yet? Being three sheets to the wind couldn't hurt the final product because it's almost indistinguishable as a pop, other than the stick. Snake cake. Snake jazz. Ha! Sometimes it's hard to watch shows like this when you think the end product tastes terrible. It's easy to think why you might believe that's the case when it comes to something like the snake cake. It doesn't look like a snake at all. Kept you waiting, huh? It looks like, well, not a snake. What does it look like? It's almost impossible to come up with something to describe it as. It doesn't look like anything you'd want to put in your mouth. However, looks are deceiving in this case. It might look horrible, but the taste was out of this world delicious. This has to be the equivalent of squid ink pasta. That stuff looks awful too, but it sure is tasty. Yeah, some things are delicious, even if they look like something out of a horror film. Though this was a cake that would take quite a bit of coaxing for the average person to take a bite of. You know what I like? This sandwich. It's snake meat. Shark Attack Cake. You're gonna need a bigger boat. 
The good news here is no one was hurt due to the shark attack cake. The bad news is someone thought this thing looked like a shark. Help me down! The shark repellent! It did have teeth and some blue stuff around it that looked like the ocean. It looks more like the debris a person sees while in the ocean. It's too bad all that floating garbage doesn't taste like this cake. It takes a creative eye to be able to spot the shark in this cake. If you squint ever so gently and tilt your head, it's possible to see that you're looking at a shark. You might also think that you're looking at a million other things as well. And that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. All of that frosting had to taste pretty good, though. The great thing about the failures on this TV show is that they all hit the right pleasure zones. It's not a failure if, at the end of the day, the cake puts a smile on someone's face while they're eating it. Sylvia Weinstock Wedding Cake She's designed wedding cakes from Kim Kardashian to Liza with a Z. Your wedding day is one of those days that you never forget. You always hope that everything goes perfectly as planned. There are a million and one things that can go wrong with a wedding. No one ever thinks that the wedding cake is going to be a problem. However, in this case, what is regrettable is the cake itself. It's a wedding cake of doom. At least it's possible to see that it's a wedding cake, unlike some of the other cakes on the television show where it's impossible to tell what they are. That doesn't mean a bride and groom would lovingly pose while cutting a slice of the cake. The hope here probably is that everyone had a little bit too much to drink and will forget all about the cake. The bright side of the situation is, if the couple ends up getting a divorce, they can blame it on the cake. It's hard to start a marriage on the right foot when the cake looks as horrendous as this one does. Barbecue cake. Mmm, barbecue. No summer would be complete without plenty of barbecues. The cake made to celebrate the best summer activity almost nailed it. Well, they got the beer part right. Look at her bottle. You don't want me to say what I think her bottle looks like. <laughs> It's a start. You can't have a barbecue without the suds to wash it down. What about the rest of the cake? There was a thing on the cake that kind of looked like a hamburger. The grill itself looks like it got a little too hot and melted. But cake is still cake in the end. You might not know what it looks like, but you sure know what it tastes like. If you were fortunate enough to get a slice of this oddly shaped cake, the first thing you didn't think of was summertime cookouts. Though you'd smack your lips all the same while eating the delicious sweet frosting and the moist cake underneath it. I'll stick to making pizza. Unicorn cake. Unicorns have been all the rage in recent years. That's surprising, considering that unicorns aren't a real thing. The unicorn cake featured on the show somewhat looked like a unicorn. It has a horn and two eyes. That is not a carrot, is it? Will something terrible happen to you if you eat the horn? A cake like this brings forth more questions than answers. The only thing a person can do is enjoy it without trying to overthink it. <gasps> Rainbow unicorn, she's right there. No, it won't make squealing sounds if you stick a fork in it. That's only your blood sugar rising at the thought of all that sickly sweet frosting. It all tastes good, but too much of it, and you'll have to prick your finger to see if you're about to go comatose. The Marvel Episode it's kind of hard to mess up a cupcake. A few years ago, cupcakes were all the craze. They still are with those who have taste buds. Do you consider yourself a fan of Marvel comics? If so, then you might be familiar with all the characters. You know me? I do. Did the cupcakes look anything like the Marvel characters? The short answer to that question is no. It's hard to tell which of the characters the cupcakes are trying to look like. None of that mattered when they were devouring the cupcakes. It's still a cupcake after all, and cupcakes always look the same after you start chewing them. It's funny how something that looks as strange as this can easily be overlooked when it's delicious. So many snacks, so little time. Snailed it. Somehow, if you squint your eyes, this does look like a snail. You can see where they're going with this one. It looks like a snail that has been run over by a steamroller. I'm gonna do the steamroller. Take off, do it! Ah! Ah! 
but still, it kind of looks like a snail. You have to give it to them for creating something that resembles what they were aiming for. That's saying quite a bit, considering how some of the other cakes turned out. The most interesting part of the snail is its shell. They did an excellent job with that. The rest, well, luckily, this is edible. Now this is why you always want to use cast iron cookware. <laughs> if it weren't edible, it would have been an eyesore and nothing else. In the world of cake, flavor is more important than presentation. But all in all, this is just another example of the worst cakes ever on Nailed It. Cupcakes and Cocktails do cupcakes and cocktails go well together? The two items might not go together too well in real life, but they seem to be a perfect match on a television show. If you have enough cocktails, any cake tastes good. Am I drunk? What's in this cake? The cocktail part was right on. The other, well, let's just say it was delicious. It looked like something someone would have made after having one too many cocktails. Sorry I'm late. It was happy hour. The creators of this cake should have also included two cupcake aspirin for the next morning. The number of cocktails it takes to cause a person to create such an oddball cupcake had to leave them hungover in the morning. Self-portrait sugar cookies. Put that cookie down! Now! It's always interesting to see how an artist portrays themselves. What an artist thinks they look like says a lot about what they think of themselves. These self-portrait cookies leave people with more questions than answers. Is this a Cheeto? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Does any person really look like that? Imagine waking up and seeing something that looks like the cookie staring back at you in the mirror. You'd think anyone who looked like that would invest in a paper bag and wear it all day long. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but ugly is something that anyone with at least one good eyeball can see a mile away. My eyes, the goggles do nothing. A couple of cocktails from the previous cupcakes, and even this cookie would look beautiful. Emoji cake. What is that emoji? Emojis have the oddest ability to make a person feel happy. It's strange how a little cartoon character can put a smile on your face. Receiving a message with one of those smiley faces can turn a frown upside down. Shot, which is your favorite emoji? The one like that. The emoji cake kind of hits the mark when it comes to creating that warm and fuzzy feeling. It is cake, and that means you can still feel warm and fuzzy by eating it. However, you'll need to be told what you're eating before munching down on it. The color is spot on, and there's even a few graphics or something on it to make it look like an emoji. If nothing else, it had to make people feel happy eating it. Donald Trump cake. Mr. President, there's been an incident. I need you to come with me. Can't, unless you say there's cake. Have you seen the Trump cake? If not, then you're in for a real surprise. It looks nothing at all like the President of the United States. That's probably for the best. His suit jacket does look delicious, though and they also got the lapel pin right. Why does he have such a sad look on his face? Maybe it's because he knows that soon someone is going to eat him. It doesn't matter to that part of my brain. It'll go if you say there's cake. You'd be pretty sad too if you thought someone was going to eat you. Sometimes cake is more than just cake, as this creation proves. Is this cake sincere? Is it satire? It's certainly sad. A cake this sad needs a little ice cream to go along with it. Maybe a few sprinkles, too, to cheer everyone up a little. Sprinkles make everything better, and they can even turn a sad and uncomfortable cake into one that people are willing to gobble up. This is terrible. What else is on? Help yourself to seconds and tap that screen for more great videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.